Hey, it's Paul. Today we're going to look at using speech recognition in our native script applications. So to start with, ensure that you have the native script CLI installed. You can do that with native script install TNS-G. After which we can create a new project by using TNS create and then the name of our project, which will be speech. And then we specify a template. I'm going to be using the template, using the dash dash template flag. And then the template I'm going to use is native script template ng tutorial. This will start a blank native script application based on Angular. When I press enter, this will download the template. So our new project is now created inside of speech. We can cd into speech. And then we need to add the native script speech recognition plugin. To do that, let's run TNS plugin add native script dash speech dash recognition. I will install the speech recognition plugin to our application. Now we can open up in Visual Studio Code or the editor of your choice. Inside of our app, we can head over to appmodule.ts and we can import from native script speech recognition. We can import the speech recognition class. Add this to the list of providers inside of app module. Then we can import native script from speech recognition once again. We can import the speech recognition and the speech recognition transcription. We'll also need the speech recognition options as we'll be making a custom options variable. So inside the template of our app, we can add something called a stack layout. The stack layout will make the buttons that we're about to create stack on top of each other. So inside of our stack layout, we will have a button. And when we tap the button, we're going to trigger the tap event and that is going to trigger the function. The function I'm going to create is going to be called trigger listening. So essentially, we're going to trigger the listening function, which is going to check to see whether speech recognition is available on the device. If it is, we're going to start listening. And if it's not, we're simply going to display a message that says speech recognition is not available. So let's write trigger listening. And inside of our app component, we'll need to make a constructor. Inside of the constructor, we can inject the speech recognition as speech and we can start writing our trigger listening function. So to trigger the listening event, we're going to say this.speech.available. That returns a promise of type boolean. When the promise is complete, we're going to take the value and we're going to say if the value is true, for example, it is available on the device, we are going to start listening. So we'll write that function in a second. And if it's not available, we're going to alert a message which says speech recognition is not available. We can then hook into the error. And for now, we'll console.error the error. So let's write the start listening function. And inside of the start listening function, we can call this.speech.startListening. Now you'll notice it has an options parameter that we need to pass here. So let's create the options parameter. We'll make options of type speech recognition options and we'll instantiate inside of the constructor. We'll say this.options is equal to, and if we take a look at the interface for that, it has a locale, an opportunity to return a partial results, but it also has this on result callback here. So we could pass a locale in here. It does default to the options of your device. We can take the transcription, and that's going to be of the type speech recognition transcription that we imported. And we can take that transcription and log it out to the console. So we can set console.log and then we can use ES6 template binding here to say the transcription.text. 
We also have the opportunity to log out other things on the transcription. For example, transcription dot finished, and that's a boolean. We can then pass the options variable inside of our start listening function. So we can say start listening, and we'll pass in this dot options. And this also returns a promise. So we can take the value of the promise. And this is actually returned when we start listening to the user. So we can say started listening. We can also log out any errors that might happen. We can then add the text to our button, which says start listening. And we can create a second button, which is going to be stop listening. So this can stop listening mid sentence. When the user taps this button, we'll call stop listening. So stop listening will run at this.speech.stop listening. And then this returns a promise once again. And we can log out simply stopped listening to the user. And we can log out any errors that might occur during this phase too. Console.error, error. So right now we have an application that simply triggers the listening event. If it's available on the device, we're going to start listening to the user. If it's not, we're going to alert speech recognition is not available. Once we start listening to the user, we can log out started listening. And inside of our started listening function, we're passing an options variable that has an on result callback which contains the speech recognition transcription. We're logging out the text of that transcription and we're logging out the finished result. We also have the ability to stop listening to the user if the user selects the stop listening button. Let's run this on the device and test it out. I'm gonna run TNS run Android and this will run it on my Android device. You can also run TNS Emulate Android if you want to run it on the emulator, and you can also run it on iOS should you want to run it on iOS. The great thing about this plugin is it works seamlessly on both devices. I've run it on the device and I've made a fatal error. We have not put the text property on the buttons in the right location. So this one little thing to do, we have to add text to the button itself, and we should now see text start listening and text stop listening inside of our buttons. When we click start listening, it's gonna ask whether the device can allow speech to record audio. I'm gonna say yes. Subscribe for more awesome videos. And as you can see in the console, we get subscribe for more awesome videos. Now you can do a variety of things with this speech recognition plugin and displaying it to the console is just one of them. Let's test stopping the listening event while we're speaking. So I'm going to start speaking right now and you can see started listening in the console and I'm going to press stop listening and we can see stop listening to the user and half of my sentence. I hope you found this video useful in using speech recognition in your native script applications. My name's Paul and of course subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more native script videos because there's lots more that can come in that direction. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.